Okay. We, are we hopping actually in? looking pretty good. Huh? You haven't smashed this one good. yet, Cass. Well, actually, oh, I think no. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's still some deer hair in there. Did you kill it? No. Oh, just it a was, gentle little nudge. Well, it was fucking. <laughs> Shh, like, can't swear. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> well, no, the deer I ran actually, right. No, I had a really bad day, and so my mom takes my brother's truck because she didn't know that he had to work in the morning, and so he told me for a ride to work. So I raced, picked him up, dropped him off at work, went to go pick him up. I get a call from my mom that my trailer is engulfed in flames. The flames are like 50 feet high. So I grab my brother, and on my way, I pick up two friends. And we go there, and we fight this fire and live in Curtis or under there, pulling out fucking full propane tanks underneath from underneath my camper while it's engulfed in flames. And the neighbor comes over with his dozer and drops snow on it. And so <laughs> put that fire out. And then <laughs> driving home that night, it was super foggy. And I'm on this one straight stretch, and it also goes super slow because it was foggy, but I know it's a straight stretch, so I start to pin it, and this deer jumps out of the ditch, and it looks like all I could see is, like, light and fog, and this, like, deer in the air, and he just kind of, like, landed on my hood and then fucked off. Uh. You can't swear. That's two faux pas. Wow. But anyway, you're lucky. Lucky the deer did not come through your window. Yeah, I kind of, like, it bent in my ear, and that was about it. Okay, we're live. We're live. Morning, Cass. Thanks for the coffee. Uh, it's nice you could grace us with your presence as always. Now, can you just hear? Everyone uh, can hear Mike properly. Yep. Everyone's Mike. Yep. I'm Mike. Can you hear me? Can you hear Mike? Okay. Anyway, we're gonna give you a tour of what's been happening since last week, Cass. Oh, look! Look what found its way back. Nice. <laughs> yes. Even Blair. Blair admitted. Yep. I heard him. He admitted. That's pretty cool. But Those were his exact it's words. number 96 in the lineup. It's num well, yeah, but sometimes the lineup changes. It's amazing how they can just leapfrog It positions. always changes. Yes, it always changes. But anyway, we got this one back. The firefly is running like a top. Nice. Blair doesn't really like it much, though. You still got your winter uh, studs on yes, there. Yes, I think you're good until, when do you have to take them off? End of March or end of end April? End of April, I think. Yeah, so we still got another month. Problem is this car weighs so That's little. Tony yep. Thing. Morning, Don. The thing is, this car is so light it doesn't really wear them out. I have to give you right, I'll have like to there's no wear. Yeah. yeah, it's coming. Okay, what's Blair? Okay, let's continue. The, oh, Tony. Yeah, come on, Tony. We're just doing a tour. Yeah, stay close to Mike so you can and Blair so you can hear us. Oh, look, we even put summer tires on the skid steer. Brand new. Brand new. 12 ply. We're good to chew. Oh, Cass, I don't know if you even remember this car. It was kind of hiding out back. I don't know. And it had a, gra it had a gravitational incident. A gravitational, like you dropped a B, it? No, a BFR, big friggin' rock, fell off the bank and <laughs> smashed the crap out of it. So we just drug it out back. Because there's another huge one. You, you see that tree, the, yeah. the crooked one? Yeah. Well, it was right underneath that <laughs> rock. So we're waiting for the next uh, shoe to fall. So we drug it out, and we're actually thinking this might be the one I drive across Canada in three months. For three, three months. months. Three months. The Frex Rod. Frex Rod. We're going to Frex Rod in Fredericton. And it just needs? Uh, July. August. Oh, you're well, leaving yeah, in yeah, July. Yeah, yeah, we're leaving. So we've got March. April, no. May. What? What's the date? March 20th. It's April. April. Oh, April. So, no. <laughs> yeah. So, we have May, June, and part of oh, July. Okay. So, we have May, June, and part of July. To well, basically, floors, we. Floors. Floors. Outer quarters, inner quarters. Like yeah, yeah. But, uh, like I said, things can Motor, leapfrog trans. in the lineup around here. Anyway, I might actually have to do some work on this one myself. And then, this one, we were, we took it out of the shop. And now it's got to go up on a sea can to age a little more. It's not quite ripe enough for Blair to work on. Anyway, and what's the now? Oh, this is one we got for Rachel. Yeah, this you one. Stop by my shop with that one. Yes. Then this one we've got to move. Hmm. Anyway, there's enough out here. Connor's coming for his boat, so hopefully the boat is going when? today. Today, I think. See. <laughs> <So you're> <laughs> 
Really? Well, who's we? You got a dill pickle in your pocket? No, I have to get all this stuff out of here today. Excellent. While Blair works on the cars, I've got to move some stuff. Tony, oh. what are you doing today? <laughs> Working for Greg today. Oh, fuck, maybe I can, uh, well, is he here? Yeah, well, he's oh. there. I don't see his truck. Oh, it's gone now. It was oh. here. Probably went for breakfast. Okay, well, whatever. We'll see if I can fucking connive you out. I need a hand. Maybe I can bribe. Uh, and have you Greg. given up on this one yet? What? Because your pal Mike had some good points about this one really not being worth doing. No, Mike was saying it is worth doing. No, I just might end up doing this myself. You hear what you want to hear. Just that, well, I want a four-speed 71 340 Super B. Anyway, okay, let's go look inside. This is depressing what enough. About, what about the back? What about the back? Oh, did you see? The, did you see the rock? No. Here, come and check. <laughs> come and check out the rock. Yes, it is. My buddies, when they were children, used to use this as a sleigh. <laughs> yes. I've had, you know how many people want to buy that off me? I said, I bought it for 50 bucks. Okay, I'll give you 100 for the forklift and the sign. No. <laughs> you guys are killing me. You're killing me. See, look, we, we made some room back there because everything, you, oh. You get that Bronco there? The blazer. Yeah, we got the blazer moved because there's a rock this big in front of it. But look what happened to my 70 Super B. Remember, guys, everything here is for sale. We have a new website. It's called rustbroscars at gmail.com. If you see anything, you have any questions, because that way... You have a new email. New email, yes. Rust, yeah, rustbroscars at gmail.com. Oh, and the people want to know, what's the legit Facebook page? There's only two pages. Yes, and yeah, people keep... Top, okay, but what are they? I don't even know, because I don't post to them. What are they? So, <laughs> they are. They are? The, the Rust Bros Facebook page is the one that has the Rust Bros logo on it. That's yes. Moderate, like moderated by Connor. Okay. And then there's another one that has an orange... But that doesn't tell anybody which one that is. But it's the right one. Like it's the How one do you know? One? Yeah. Okay, hang on, show yeah. that, that, Okay, sorry, that's the fan page. Okay. That's the fan page. Yep. And that's legit. That's, that's legit. legit fan page, so it's moderated by, by the team. And that's... And then this is the... Hold on. Let's see this. Uh, the, that's the Russell. How many followers is that? Uh, 169. 169,000 followers. Yes. Yes. So that's the other. That's the that's the legit shop one. Like that's those are the, and those are the only ones. And then not, not Damien just in. No, the you know, yes. Right. And you same guys. thing, guys. If like people are buying merch, like they're they are ripping us off left, right, and center. The only merch is if you go to the Facebook page. And YouTube. There's, and YouTube. And yeah, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. There's a link. Or designsmith42.com. Or, de or design Smith Blair's blog and his substandard shirts as well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> designsmith42. Designsmith42.com. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Or, or look up Cass's page. Anyway. Our Amazon store is live. So if oh. you want to buy any shop stuff. Yes, we have an Amazon store. Here. Check this out, Cass. Yeah, Cass. Yep. Blair's mic. Amazon page? I didn't know that. Here. Look. Oh. I just work on cars. <laughs> the purple Super B and the Firefly. <laughs> so you think anyway, the chisel's gonna take that apart? I think the little we're gonna run hose out. This That's one, the my sun. Birthday. You should give me that, That's a rock that white and green truck. Uh, it's sold. Rachel bought it. Yes. She's got good taste. She has good taste. Yes, she does. So anyway, this afternoon we're gonna go out when the sun hits it. With an air chisel, we're going to pick that big boulder apart, <laughs> gently. How about a jackhammer? We... No. <laughs> air chisel. Jackhammer, might, I might miss, and I'll put a hole right in the car. <laughs> we're going to do it gently, discreetly. The air chisel, I bet you 30 minutes. So who's that... operating the air chisel? Me. Right? Say, uh, <laughs> me. I'm operating the air chisel. Car. Okay, enough critiques. Let's go see what we're working on inside, guys. On, You're killing me. Baby, it's cold outside. Spring is coming to the North Country. Corvette needs a good home, guys. Nice Corvette, runs and drives. Anyway, I need room. We need room to maneuver. People keep asking about the charger, Blair. When are we dragging it in? <laughs> when are it's number seven, right? <laughs> yes. 
Lincoln, look out for rocks. Where is he? He's out. <laughs> he saw a marmot there last year, and he keeps yeah, looking. Yeah, he keeps looking. He'll find one. It's okay. My brother's dog, Spring, she's a mouse hunter, but uh, that's a car I got from Blair. Her and Saturday, she was trying to get a mouse out of underneath the engine bay, yeah. and they crunched like a shark to find the fender. Uh, oh, well, Lincoln would be chewing right on the steel. Yeah, that's what my dog yep. did. Okay, here's what we are working on. Cass prepped the hood last time, so we're going to get some body work done on that on Monday. That's yeah. correct. All right? the metal is done. There was a day yep. of welding. Yep, Blair welded up. He's got all the front. Fit. This has all been repaired. This is repaired. Uh, both corners are repaired. Underneath, he had to rebuild it. If you bend down that and look, you can see some beautiful patches. So that has all been done. And this is going to be sick. Uh, Blair just finished welding up the floors. I mean, some people are going to question why, because of the rarity of the car, we don't do it all. But basically, this one, we're just trying to minimize some costs. So we basically, everything was super solid on the floor, except a couple small patches. Uh, he had a lot of work underneath here. Just a second yeah, here. Hang on. So we, done, so we, did, we did the one quarter right away. And there. basically, <laughs> there. So we've got... All of this was done. Did you move this here? Yeah. No, no. You take that out. Oh, right. We, re we rebuilt all that. There's our body mount kit. He had to rebuild underneath and weld, weld the nuts where the body mounts go. Uh, we rebuilt. We, meaning Blair, of yes, course. Yes, of course. There is no I in we. But anyway, <laughs> we rebuilt all that. Uh, this was all done. Uh, we could have waited for, for an outer tub, but... We could have waited for an outer tub, but Blair just rebuilt all the outer wheel well lip. He rebuilt all of this with uh, patches, just like a guy could do at home in his own shop. So now, once we get, oh, so this is on the wrong frame. This is a hard top frame. It's not boxed. All the GM convertibles had box frames. So fortunately, we found a buddy of mine who's one day will do a tour of his Buick yard because he's a freak, and he had two. 68 to 72 Buick Skylark convertibles. So this is one of the frames. We sandblasted it. Our buddy Chris Fryer from Speedy Clean. Is it Speed Clean? Check if I know. Anyway, Chris Fryer, good guy. If you need to, somebody sandblasted, he blasted this. We've. Uh, well, this is the difference. This, this yes. one piece here is what makes it a convertible frame. It goes from here to here. And that's the stiffener. And it box boxes system. it. So it's called a box frame. So our other buddy, Ted, recommended this product to us. It's called Cloverdale Armor Shield. So it's an A and a B. It's got the primer, Duraprime, A and B. And then you've got the paint, A and B. So it's like a two-part. Tough as nails. It was actually made for paint and bridges was the story we heard. But stuff is tough, it's shiny, and it's black. So anyway, so that's the frame that's going to be going underneath the Chevelle. So at the same time, uh, I forgot to take that off. Same time, we got him to sandblast our whole uh, front rod support and hood and hood mechanism. So we blasted that, painted it with the same stuff. So now it's shiny and black and protected. Looking for spots I missed, Blair? Shut I up. would never point that out. Yes, you would, but you can't see it not unless you bend down. Anyway. So, um, beautiful. Any, louder? I'm yelling already. Yes. He'll get better. You got him out? <laughs> okay, anyway. It's quite, it, yes, practice makes perfect. And the only other thing we're working on, okay, is the one Cass was helping out. A lot of people said they didn't see in the video. I told them it was mostly time lapse. Um, Basically, we're going to polish this. Uh, we, we found found the, the inserts. We had eights and nines, but we're going to go with the 68s because I think it looks good. Would you find the hair? There's like a little piece of uh, paint from Mr. Matthew. Oh, yeah.
Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. So anyway, um, okay, basically it's been painted. Uh, we just got to polish the hood a bit. We tried a different blackout treatment. Uh, we're thinking we're going to paint these orange just for a little contrast. What do you think, Blair? I was thinking, but I'm starting to lean away from that. Wow. What do you think? Should these be orange? I think. I mean, I, I think they should be orange. Really? Yeah, well, orange or white. White? Well, like you're doing the interior, right? It's convertible. Well, what do you think? Be... Black? It's going to be black? Well, I'm starting to think orange in the middle of the big black stripe is going to look weird. It's not my freaking car. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll paint one orange and one black and see what it looks like. <laughs> Uh, white. Yeah, then I would do these white. Then when the convertible top comes down, then Are I would you like, kidding me? Well, otherwise, <laughs> it's going to be a white top on black. What do you guys think? Should they go well, orange? We should have gone white, go white stripes. <laughs> we should have gone white stripes, according to that. Anyway. Or you could do orange with like white dimensions. No. <laughs> well, we're going to oh. look at some pictures. Oh. We'll look at some pictures. Well, let's just paint them whatever the girl says. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Orange, chrome, orange, black, Kathy May, black, white top, oh my god, black, black, orange, gold. That doesn't fit <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. They actually look pretty sharp just like that with the white. I can see the. Okay, clear coat. There. Yeah, there Ain't you go. You're going to clear them with the metal. Anyway, so this is basically what we're up to. Yeah. Clear coat. Clear color. No, yeah. black. No. Black, but clear. And then you got the little screens in here, yeah, the right? Screens, yeah. No. It says this doesn't have the screens. Someone says nope. do one of these and have them and then decide. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You could also paint them black and then get Vance to do a little like. Let's not get carried away, because there are little inserts that say 383 Magnum in there, right? That screw in. But anyway. Uh, well, they weren't chrome to start with. Ooh. Anyway, so basically, uh, I haven't decided if it's going to be 383 or 440 yet. We've got one of each. I'm just. Or wait. are you selling it without a motor? Or we could be selling it without a motor. We haven't figured out what we're doing with it yet because I'm confused and dazed as always. It's just we've got so many projects. The longer, if we take the time to actually finish every one, it cuts down our number of bills by about 50%. Oh, yeah. So we. We might just get them to this stage and then let people buy them. We're just, I'm still figuring it out, guys, because I'd like to keep building the cars. And this is the stage that most people have a hard time getting to. I like that. I right? Think. So that way, if we just get Which them in paint, somebody else sell can them finish them. Yeah, right? sell them like this. Right? It's great. They're like but, this rust rose build. They let the people can do whatever the hell they want. And this is the yeah. part that's difficult for people to do at home the painting. Yeah, yeah the painting, the body work, work, the metal work. So, I like that. So and basically on Monday, yes. Yeah. So basically Absolutely on Monday, true. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> so Monday when Cass comes back, we're gonna polish this and work on the on the quarter, or we're gonna do the quarter. We're gonna. Do I'm the doing quarter. the quarter today. Okay. Okay. Today. I'm doing today, the quarter. Today, guys, the quarter's getting cut off, and Blair, you're gonna get watch a video later of Blair uh, cutting off the quarter and welding on the new one. And then basically it's going to look, all the metal work will be done. Okay. And then a week later it should be in primer, yeah. a week of yeah. working. And then be ready to sell. But I'll be on something. Yeah, absolutely. You could in primer or paint. So by, by the end of next week, this thing should be ready or almost getting ready for paint. We were thinking it was an original Maduro blue car. Oh. And we might just do it back with the original oh. Maduro blue. Oh, Blair's selling t-shirts. Oh. Look, oh. He's, he's pimping his wares over here. If you need Thanks some nice Mark, shirts of Blair. The amazing Mark Robinson's work. Yes. And he has women's shirts. Yes. Right? That's yes, Blair the V-neck. The V-neck. So that's Blair, what is it on your website? Designsmith42.com. Smith, yep. Yeah. So by the end of the week, guys, there should be videos of this thing, all in bodywork, all in primer. The dark Maduro blue with the blue stripes. We do have a 520 horse 454 that will be going in this. I'm still fighting myself whether pedals are automatic. It was an automatic car. We do have a 700 R4 that would be an easy bolt. Are you in. keeping it or selling it? I don't know yet. I mean, that's what it, 
comes down yes. to, right? Yes. You could sell it as a roller. Or you it is a, a pretty rare block. car. They only imported 350 of these into Canada. That was it, because they never made them here. Or you could drive this across Canada. Uh, after driving the Chevelle across Canada at 10 miles to the gallon, I need something a little more frugal for the next trip. A dollar a mile, it's a long way to go, baby. So four-cylinder? <laughs> what are you talking? It's getting the 560. No, no, this is, but yes. okay. okay. Yes. Anyway, that's what we're up to here at Rust Brothers. We have still 20 minutes here. I don't want, well, what are we going to do for 20 minutes? Q&A. Oh, question and answers. Oh, I forgot. I'll right. see if I forget. I know that you forgot. Oh, Please yes. Over for 12 yeah. Okay, so. and? You have brakes. We did fix the Chevelle now. We put the old rims back on it. For those of us, for those of you that followed our trip, we put our general G-forces back on. The winters have been put away, hopefully never to be seen again. Because uh, anyway, have you guys got any questions about what we're doing? Any questions for Cass? Uh, any questions for Tony? <laughs> we'll sit down and we'll answer some questions, guys. Yes. Storing these plastics and not driving them is like saving your saving your girlfriend for her next boyfriend. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word! I think that's totally fine. It is. <laughs> hey, we did it's enough true. driving in this one to make up for the next two or three. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I would like to drive them once. Yes, I know. Okay. Grab some seats. Grab some seats, Cass. Blair, here, Tony, get in here. Uh, Mike is the only one's Mike, so they need to be uh, next to Tony. Tony, yep. Yeah. Grab a chair, Tony. Mike can stand up. Yeah. Where's, Blair, what, yeah, hang on. Hang on. We got another chair here, Blair. Is it, is it I'm fine, man. Here. I need to pace. I need to pace. Here. Okay. Well, you got to sit down next to Tony because you have a mic. Right? Here, spin gas. Here. Bounce over, this thing rotates. Hang on. There you go, we just can't organize, guys. Yeah, here, okay. Okay, how's that? Blair, people commented last time when you were in the background. It's awkward, so. Do you mind sitting? Well, I am awkward. I'm, work <laughs> I'm good at working on cars. You have the mic here. Push over a bit, Tony, then Blair will be in the middle oh, so we can all hear. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather hover. I'd rather hover. Like the ghost of Buddy ah. and Pass. Okay. <laughs> okay, ask away, guys. Yeah, man. Okay, so. Is it Nick? Oh, <laughs> I better turn my freaking thing down. Okay, Michael. Yes. No, 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 it's not someone's. <laughs> okay, fire away, guys, for questions. Have you decided if the rotor is going to get finished by you guys? We are, it's still up in the air. I've got a brand new 383. We've got 440s. I've got a 57 Hemi. It just, I don't know yet. 250 hours, man. It's too soon to tell, but uh, I'd like to at least take it for, for a test drive. Like the guy's right. It is like saving your girlfriend for the next guy and it'd be nice to drive it once, but we can't finish them all. We just, we still have a hundred cars left, right? That's the problem. So the time it, Time we get them to body and paint, it's about two, three hundred hours, so sometimes a little more. Time we finish them, it's a thousand hours. If we keep doing a thousand hours a car, I'm never gonna make it, right? Because I'd like to I'd like to drag most of them in and actually do something with them. I mean, that's why I kept the ones I kept. And you can finish some. Yeah, I mean one. some we can finish. I mean, but I just I cannot finish them all because I'm not gonna live long enough. Yeah, so I mean basically all we'll cool see what happens. Him. Stay tuned. Yeah, you put, you put a 454 in a Firefly. Uh, oh, you maybe sure. a 4.54, 4, but not a 454. <laughs> well, behind the seats, you could. Yeah, well, I, Blair says you can do anything if you want to throw Absolutely. enough money at it. But uh, it would kind of uh, negate the beauty of the Firefly, which is th one liter engine, 50 miles to the gallon, right? I call it my carbon offset car. I drive this for a while, and then... I can assuage the guilt by driving the Firefly. Yeah. Um, why don't you use more Fords? Why don't we do more Fords? Because basically I never collected many Fords. I just never ran across them. There are a lot of Ford freaks out there. I mean, uh, we've got a beautiful Ford that is coming up on the show that hasn't aired yet. It, uh, we've got the Ford truck. 
But uh, we've got the 40, you know, that's a Dodge. We've got the 41 Ford uh, cab over. I mean, we do have some cool Fords. It just we'll see if, if and when we get to them, right? 100,000 subscriber giveaway. We're thinking about it, but first we'd like to get the original prizes given away because we're still having a hard time giving the first prizes away. Good news is that we're up to eight people we found. We know eight, eight people out of, out of 25 have asked for their prizes, guys. Like, right? I mean, it's just, they're all sitting there. We'd love to give away the prizes people have already won, but next time we're just going to have to do it a different way because we still don't even know who the, the grand prize winner is. We know who he is, but he hasn't got yeah. We've uh, sent out emails, we've sent Facebook no messages. So you guys got to go on the site, look at the winners, and if it's you, get in touch with us. Well, the next time I think we're going to give people 30 days. Yep. And then we're going to redraw them and then... Yes, yeah, because it's just... are attentive are going to want this stuff. Yes, anyway. But uh, what are we going to do for the, for the 100,000? That's a good question, Blair. Well, we can always... Blair, you don't want to give a whole car away. I was yeah, just going to yeah, say. Yeah, he's not paying. That gets huh? rid of a car. Yeah. <laughs> like this orange one. No, yeah, no. no. Well, what's the, what's the well are you going to pay for half of it? Then we'll give it away. Well, I guess oh. I'd have to pay for a portion of it, wouldn't I? 50%. It <laughs> no. only cost you 50 grand to yeah, give it away. Oh, I see. Okay. That solved that issue. We're thinking but, about it, guys. Yes. Yes, I have three pedal cars. We're going to give away a, we'll do a Cassidy painted pedal car. Uh -huh. Aha. There, there we go. Okay, we're going to give away a pedal car, a vintage pedal car. Great. Okay. What's the rarest vehicle you guys have found or owned in your life? Rarity, I mean, it depends on what you define by rarity, but the one that 71, when we did the 271 Air Grabber Super Beast, those were, I mean, they only made 320 of them with that motor combo. Hey, there was only eight grabbers. There's so. only 90 Chevy deliveries that I'm driving. Yeah, I mean, there is only nine. The one I sold, Blair, 89. the eight ounces of gold, it was, well, there was more made in the States, but there was only nine yeah, in Canadian. 850 or yeah. something. Yeah, so, I mean, that one's pretty rare. Um, what else is pretty rare? I mean, the 911 Porsche I had is one of 1,500. That's a Targa. That's pretty rare. Uh, I mean, they only made, like, even that, that Roadrunner sure, convertible, that the 383 thing. one we just cloned, there was less than 200 of those made. Factory Big Block, I think the numbers were around 200 or 100 and something. I mean, there's a lot of rare cars out here, right? It's just, what, what's rare? I mean, I've only ever seen a couple of those 41 Dodge Coupes. That's, That's right? true, yeah. Um, well, those two, those two Novas, those two Acadian Sport Deluxes we sold at the auction, they were uh, they made 357, 67 V8 Acadian SDs. So that was a super rare car. So it's still not as rare as mine. Yeah, it's still, it's still <laughs> not as rare as Blair's. There's lots of rare cars out here. Blair's car is super cool. Blair's car yeah. is super cool, and now that the I price will of, fix the heater. Yeah, and now that the price of gold is over 3,400 an ounce, I feel pretty good about the deal. <laughs> Twist the knife. Yes. Yes. It does make one seasick when doing uh, sharp hey, corners. Like driving your sofa, man. Yeah. As he says, those exhausts hang so low every time we turn. Like he knows when to back off in the corners because he starts dragging the pipes. It's like rubbing the pigs on my bike. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> Yes, exactly. <laughs> if only. Yes. I just don't work on my own cars. <laughs> That's right. Obviously. I don't work on my own cliffs, as, as you can see by the rocks <laughs> smashing my cars. Anyway. What's your favorite UK car? Uh, my Sunbeams, without a doubt. I love my Sun. I, Anglias are pretty cool, but I like my Sunbeams. Speak up, Cassidy, on this one. Uh, what, what, what's wrong with your truck? Um... It's parked at my house. It needs a new paint job. It has quite a dent, and it needs front end work. I'm hoping to get it up and running for the summertime. But. Yes. We told her if she gets it over here, we might give her some shop time and a little <laughs> space. In the meantime, Cassidy's accepting gifts up through Amazon. So yeah, that's yeah. right. Yes. <laughs> send money for the truck fund. <laughs> yeah. She's, she's going to start her own Go Fund My Truck Fund. That's a good idea. It also needs a new seat. <laughs> 
And a million dollars in the glove box. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, no, and I also could use some gas money to get a new <laughs> I think we're going to do a four cylinder drowns clown. There you go. Yeah. Uh, for one of those, uh, four Cummins. I was actually thinking four BTs. Four diesels. Like four. At least end up Ford F 150 diesel. Well, four BTs. about uh, propane swapping it. Oh, yeah. There's 400 drum rated on propane to get one hotter. Would you ever consider going to the IRS? I don't fly, and it's a long way to swim. <laughs> Where? Where? What's that? Ireland. Ireland. Far out. Yeah. Would you go there? Oh, absolutely. By boat. Yeah, by boat. See, me and Blair share the same, uh, the same paranoia. Oh, I'd love to. That's one of the, one of the bucket list places. Well, and he's the same size as the leprechauns. <laughs> I'll actually feel tall in my life. Yeah, thanks. thanks. Uh, what do you think of the old air-cooled flat fours from Volkswagen? Well, I have a Porsche. It's a flat six, and they're pretty cool. I like Volkswagens, old Volkswagen. They're all cool, right? What, Mike, are you going to try and sort out, and what are you going to do to, uh, to sort out the, 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 the clip and the, the, the rear from the back to stop your car from being damaged? Basically, right now we're still having, if you guys have followed our series, you know there are some major property ownership issues here. Right now... We're applying for a subdivision permit. I do not want to go up and spend another fifty, sixty thousand dollars to stabilize the cliff, which is what it would take. I mean, we do have enough room out back to slope it. Right now, we're just moving the car. We're trying to get now that it's spring. We're going to move the cars forward. We're going to put up a barricade, but I have to resolve the ownership issues on the property, or by next year we might be forced to tear everything down. Worst case scenario. So. I'm kind of, to paraphrase, I'm st right now I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and that's the truth. There's no bullshit. It's not a bunch of TV bullshit. That's what's actually happening. Right now we could end up tearing everything down. So we're fighting it tooth and nail, but uh, we'll see what happens. Put an ad out on the Rambler sites. There are sites that are dedicated just to Ramblers. Someone somewhere is going to want parts off that car, right? They don't make them anymore. I mean, there's Rambler freaks out there. I just You got to reach out and find them. Because, I mean, it's a shame to crush anything that's old. Just because someone somewhere is looking for those parts. Are you going to Newfoundland after New Brunswick? That is the plan. We want to go coast to coast all the Way. What's your favorite Mopar? My 70 Super Bs have got to be one of them. I have five. We are going to build one, maybe the purple one, once we go chip the rock off it today and <laughs> do a, an accurate assessment of the damage. How do I get a hold of Mike if I'm interested in buying up one of his projects? Okay. The new uh, email, Rust Bros Cars, all small letters, R-U-S-T-B-R-O-S-C-A-R-S. -S at gmail.com, rustbroscars at gmail.com. Connor and my daughter finally said, Dad, enough of this crap. Set up a dedicated, a dedicated uh, email just for the cars. So that every, all the questions go to one site. I can check it once a day, and you might even get an answer back. What's, uh, what's Lincoln's favorite food? <laughs> <laughs> Everything that I eat is his favorite food. Yes, Link? Yeah, yes, it was pepperoni, was pepperonis, but he really likes medium rare steak, <laughs> uh, chicken breast, uh, you know, all the usual doggy fare. Unlike, unlike Avery, he does not send it back. Yeah, but like <laughs> Avery, he doesn't chew either. <laughs> What's that green heat hung up on the wall? Oh, that was half of a 1957 Studebaker Hawk. That Rick cut apart to get up there? Yeah, I think it was Rick and Avery, and yes, yeah. Um, Sarah was there too, yeah. yeah. Yep. And we're actually going to post on Instagram the collection of photos that we have from when Mike built the shop when it was empty. Yes, uh, yes, wow. Matt just found them, guys. You would not believe how much space there used to be in here. There will be again. Well, I just put pictures from the point that when we were laying foundation. Yeah, I know. Well, Matt just found some when we were, yeah. the concrete, uh, Roxy was putting well, the sealer. That's when I walked in today and that bay was clean. Yes. I know. What did Chris Fryer say? 
It's the first time he's ever been yeah. able to walk from the door straight into the shop. <laughs> That's right, in a straight line. Like, oh my God, is the restaurant not going to do this? And then I walked away the other door. No, no. Is it no. Still junk somewhere? <laughs> yeah. Matt, can you read? Oh, well, someone, hit the, hit the, sorry. Okay. How much is I love the same same watch the live live video for you, but I can't handle the gurgling sound coming from homeboy when he talks. Clear your fucking throat. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's the way I talk. That's also years and years of silica field. Yes, that's if you're ever spraying shotcrete, I highly recommend you wear a mask. <laughs> In hindsight. I'm not scared of snowmobiles, it's just I spent my whole life around drills and machinery, and my idea of recreation is not going out and listening to something and going ding, 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 all day, just not into it. I'd rather go sit quietly by a creek or paddle my canoe or do something that's peaceful and quiet, except driving my Chevelle, that's kind of quiet and peaceful. <laughs> uh, did you ever, and I want to know the answer to this too, did you ever get the wiper motor fixed? No. We have one in a box it right there. Matter. No, it's, it's no, not fixed. I haven't fixed it, but if there is a new one here. It is getting replaced. Yes. There's a new one somewhere in the store somewhere. No, there. it's actually, I put it in the back seat of the car. It's in the car. It's ready to go. Oh, good. Yes. Each for you, question for each of you. What's your thoughts on rat logs? They make sense. Yeah, I like oh, the rat logs. Love them. Love them. I love rat rods, and the thing is, the beauty of the rat rod, you still have the old vintage body, you have the old cool look, and you save about 30, well, 40 grand in body and paint. You know what body men charge? I mean, man, it's I know. outrageous. You know that it's a one of a kind. Everyone's unique. That's right. You don't have five of them, the same yeah. one sitting in a parking lot. One. One and only. Like that, if you started watching the start of the video, you saw that 64 Malibu rag, that is going to be a rat rod. I know it's not your definition of a typical rat rod, but we're going to build it on That'll the cheap. That'll make my job easier. <laughs> yes, right? But it just, it saves 50% of the price of a build if you don't do body and paint. Oh, more than that. Or more. Depending. Maybe, I mean, yeah, depending how much rust prepared. You can have high-end rat rust. Yeah. But I mean, even just the materials to do body and paint on a car are six, 7,000 bucks. Oh, easy. Easy. Minimum six, seven thousand bucks if you're doing high-end paint job. By the time you buy the sandpaper, primers, the fillers, the paint, the clear, it's just insane now. Since COVID, prices yeah. have basically doubled, right, Blair? Body fillers, 140 bucks a gallon so for the good like stuff. Yep. The metal work, so not yeah. That's right. So we all love rat rods. Will you have a reunion with all the past cats? Yeah, when they finally quit torturing us, we probably <laughs> will. We will have a reunion. We'll bring out Neil from the East Coast. Greg's next oh, yeah. door. Oh, yeah. We've got uh, uh, Rick's, down the road. Rick's down the road. I mean, everybody's still close, guys. Maybe like the 10th anniversary party, if we live that long. <laughs> this must be one of Richard's friends. Yeah, Richard is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> How did you meet him? How did his last uh, business of the Tiki Docks go? They were very cool. They were yeah. very cool. I'm not sure how they went because Richard ended up selling his dock building company, but that Tiki Dock was, they oh, were a cool up. idea, so I'm not sure. We're going to be seeing Richard later this afternoon. We will ask him that question. Honey, what are you getting into over there? Honey, anything that, come on, don't look guilty. <laughs> uh, okay, guys, so we have two mics. We have two mics, one on Mike and one on Blair. They're saying that. Cassidy and Tony are alone. Like, they don't make a four-channel mic. Like, uh, there you go. You can pass there. it back and forth. Like that. <laughs> Problem solved. Okay. You can hear Mike from anywhere. What's each one of you's favorite uh, classic car? Classic car? What uh, classic uh, car? Or, is okay. that classic or a classic car. car. What's your favorite car, basically? Yeah. If you have to choose one, what's Here's your favorite one. car? I, I, Dream car or whatever. I don't have a favorite car. I don't have a, well, actually, I want to build the, the 70s El Camino, but more as a tribute than it being my favorite car. So that's one, is that maybe two that I still? After you. After you. What's your favorite car, Tony? You got the Dakota truck, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm already on that one. Um, and like my, my 77 Capri Ghia, I love that. Like, there's so many different 
car, like different brands, are really cool cars. So it's so hard to say. Cause pick one. It, it's totally wrong to yeah, even pick one. I know. Yeah. Who's well, your? That, well, you that's it. Yeah. you said it, Mike. Who's my favorite kid? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're cars. Well, I only have two, so I can flip a coin. Yeah. You know, but, out, of, out of all of it, I'd say Datsun 510 was one of my yeah. favorites of all time because yeah. it was always the coolest car. Like, yeah. I loved having what? that one, and I would really? love to build one yeah. again. Yeah. There you go. That's, That's different. 510. What's yours, Blair? 60 sedan? Absolutely three? no favorites. As long as they have a solid floor, I'm good. <laughs> I don't like the ones where I got to lay on my back and rebuild floor supports. Yeah. And as for me, I like them all. I mean, I range from my Chevelles, my Super Bs, 911 Porsche Targ is pretty Still sweet. Still not talking about Ford. Uh, they're all cool. <laughs> they're all cool. Oh, uh, I love a fastback Mustang. I've owned four or five. I've never built one. I mean, same thing. There's just so many beautiful cars out there. It's hard to pick just one. But I mean, but my favorite that I've owned right now, 68 yeah. SS, because nice. I've owned it 40 years. And it just drove 11,000 kilometers through some inclement weather and made it home before it broke. Cool. Okay, Mark Thompson from England says, they're coming in June to collect a Lincoln Mark V from Kelowna for a road trip across Canada. What time do you open and close? We will stop by and purchase some merchandise. Uh, normally we're open at... Seven. Seven, well, seven o'clock the gate's open. On, so just be clear about weekdays and weekends. Yeah, Saturday weekends, I mean, normally Sundays we're around in the morning a bit, but usually the shops close, so... Monday to Saturday usually, but uh, send us send us an email on the Rust Bros Cars at gmail.com. Yeah, from far away. yeah, if you're coming yes. from far away, just so we can make sure that we're here because our schedule is pretty flexible. Yeah, uh, but technically you're here Monday to Friday, seven a.m. to about five. Yes, yeah, give or take usually. Yep. And then Saturday you're here. From Saturday you yep. till three, four, from yep. the yep. so I mean, I live here in the bus too, so sometimes I'm here later. But also, you might be gone somewhere to go buy a car or do Yes, yes. Or so whatever. so just check ahead. Um, happy 420. And you're not buying a car before the end of May, remember? That's right. Ooh, there's a bet going on. There's a bet. No way he'll do yeah. it. Yeah, we do have a bet. Blair said I can't go six weeks without buying a car. So I've already made it two days. I'm almost there. Yeah, yeah. Um, how much longer are you planning on working? <laughs> Three years at least is the deal. Modern. <laughs> when do you Matt start? says I can quit when I'm 70. When you're God. dead. No, when you're dead. <laughs> and even you that hey, the it all depends what happens. Yeah. It all depends what happens with the property. If you end up tearing everything down. And define working. Work. <laughs> okay, define <laughs> working. around yelling at everybody working? Is it really working? <laughs> Actually, uh, anyway, good question. We'll see. As long as I'm able, I mean, I'll probably be doing something. Right? I'm not ready to sit down and watch TV yet, guys. Um, this is a tricky one because we want to be uh, respectful to all the different places in Rust Valley, but uh, what's your favorite places to eat in Rust Valley? Why don't each of you go one at a time? I know what mine is. Mine is where we're going tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ted and Tammy's is the top of our list. Absolutely. <laughs> an exclusive club. Yeah, it's an exclusive club. you got to have an invite. But, uh, That's right. This area has amazing, great restaurants. Stratus is one of our favorites in uh, Sorrento. Sorrento. What kind of food? Uh, Greek. Yeah. Greek. Then, like for, well, just go through. For Jade Buffet, if, if you want a Chinese s'more. We were there last oh, night. Yeah. Ranchers. Ranchers, uh, pub food. Oh, uh, oh, timber, right timber, beside timber, ranchers. Timber for breakfast. Fins. Fins. Oh, was Fins excellent. for lakefront ambiance. Uh, Andiamos for yeah. Italian. Oh. Uh, Mexican. Uh, 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 oh. La Cantina or whatever. No. Uh, yeah, it's like a something Cantina. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I never remember. Cantina Vallarta. Yeah. yeah Cantina right. Vallarta, amazing Mexican food. Uh, high end stuff. We really like the place on on the lake at the Prestige. At the Prestige. Yeah, the nine yeah. something. Yeah, the nine something or the nine oh five or yeah. whatever. That's the cool. Anyway, I mean, we've never had bad food here. Mm. No. Right. There's That's amazing true. restaurants there's in the shoe yeah. shop. Oh. Never eaten there. The hub. Hmm. Well, the hub oh. never had there. Oh, yeah. Monster Burgers and Gas Creek. Hub. Monster yeah. Burgers. Um, well, you call them Smash. Smash you have a Smash Burgers. Oh, at, thank you. Oh, where's that? That's uh, at DeMille's. If DeMille's. you guys are ever going through, and you need fresh produce, really? go to DeMille's. Farm, like right uh, 
uh, amazing produce store, and there's a smash burger. We got a break for breakfast now. Good question for me. I'm so close to the mic. Yes. Matthew, did you have hair before you started the show? He did. <laughs> I have a picture of Matt when he first started here, and he looked so young. I did. Yeah, yeah we did. He looked, he looked so years. young. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. We're looking for a picture of Matt. What with year him. did we start the show in? 2018. <laughs> really? You have a picture? I thought you oh, had a private folder of my. <laughs> no, that's a, that's me. I got yeah, private folders on everybody. Go. <laughs> Did you take the break from the Chevelle mic while we're waiting? Yes, <coughs> yes. So we started filming it, and then <coughs> I didn't. We we did the fix. Uh, we bled them. Blair says we have. Oh. We, we have brakes. Oh yeah. Right. So Big we just time. put the tires. Actually, you can show me. Just put the old rims back on the blackout ones because I run tens on the back and eights on the front. So got a little more muscle car look back going instead of the winters. So oh, anyway, hey. we got the fatties. I that do. one isn't on yet. Oh, okay. I was going to say. That sticking out. It's not on yet, remember? We have a clearance problem. Yeah, we have yeah, a clearance yeah. issue. So. Have you had a turbo version of the Firefly, or was, that, or was it just the Sprint? I've only owned the Sprints. I did have three turbo cars. I sold them at the auction. I do have a, a twin cam engine okay, sitting out. Actually, guys coming from Alberta Whoa. to sell me a bunch of parts to upgrade. <laughs> Looks like and Adam. I might be doing a discussion with putting a twin cam Swift GTI, let's you see. You have a hat on, but you used to have nice black hair. Let's see. <laughs> Here, let's see. Where? I don't look happy there. <laughs> I was pissing no. me off. And if you oh. <laughs> That's in that old, uh, oh. old truck, the shop truck. Yes. Oh, the blue one. Yeah. The one that I had on. Yeah. Yes. You do look there. grumpy. Nothing's changed. <laughs> <laughs> All the hate. <laughs> it eroded my confidence. Yes. I got a video of Aaron when he came back from uh, Burning Man. And I think he's still messed up. He was like going like this around the shop pretending <laughs> to be a bird. <laughs> <laughs> What's in your driving collection right now? All of you, go, Mike. Uh, Mike and you have the microphone. Make your time. Well, ones that actually run. I've got the uh, my Firefly. I've got two work trucks. I've got my Chevelle. I have the Sunbeam down in the Auto Museum that's coming out of storage. We have the 71 340 Air Grabber Super B, and I have a 66 Malibu SS Convertible. That's in my collection. What's yours, Cass? <laughs> well, I got two Chevy trucks. I got the pink truck, and then I got a 89 Wrangler Edition single cab long box 90s Chevy or whatever that I'm rebuilding next. But What about the little import that's out there? <laughs> the little, oh, yeah, my Hyundai Accent that I hit a deer with, and then... I got uh, that Mazda Millennia S, that oh, right. little supercharged car from Blair. Yes. And then I have my 2009 Honda Civic that my brother just blew the clutch in. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, so anyways, I have one running vehicle. And, <laughs> well, two run. The pink Chevy runs. It just doesn't yeah. drive straight. So. <laughs> that could be the operator. <laughs> yeah, it could be, yeah. What do you got, Tone? Um, for driving? Yeah. All I got is my 2002 Dakota pickup. Yeah. Lots of projects. 360, that's a nice The 360, car. yeah, lowered and everything on it. Just starting to do, going to be uh, wrapping it soon. Um, yeah, and just got a compound, a big pile of t uh, parts to put on it. It's just got to get something, to way to park it so I can actually work on it. And then, yeah, and then everything else is just proje project cars. All Hopefully right. one day project yeah. cars. Yeah. Well, Blair, what's in your stable? I just got plates on my bike yesterday, oh, day before. Go. I'm so excited. Lucky. Yes. Lucky, yes. Still a little sour. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a 60 sedan delivery. Yeah, and got the old limo sitting at home. And a little, oh. yes. There we go. Tractors? <laughs> God only knows. It's been 18 months of anguish. They keep lying to us. but <laughs> and, and it's the best stuff yet. Yeah, yeah. We did some amazing, like... As far as we're concerned, it was our best season ever. There's eight episodes coming. Cool cars. We built some very cool cars. They have to air it by the end of the year. Is that the story? Yeah, it's supposed yes. to be in the fall. Right? And it's truck. supposed to be in the fall. And yeah. a truck. Cars truck. and truck. Yeah. We did the scout. Oops. Nope. Corner Oops. alert. Yes. And the other truck, which is way cool. What other truck? Uh, oh, yes. Gun. Yes, the Gasco. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Yes, the Gasco. Guys, yeah. we've got a... We that's have dynamite. A truck come, uh, build that's coming that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's one yeah. of the coolest things we have ever done. In collaboration with some of our great friends at other shops, we've 
Even after I lit it on fire, it still worked out good. <laughs> yes, yes. Even though Blair tried to torch it in the middle of the shop. <laughs> yeah. It came out stunning. And if you want a sneak peek of it, you can go to Lorco's, no, sorry, Gasco's launch. Yes. Which is May 1st. Isn't it May 1st? When no, is it? Okay. No, no, no. Anyway. No. Or if you Google Western Gasco's Western website. Gasco's launching their new uh, production facility. Gas Distribution, production facility. Yeah. Right. So we, we're, we're going to be there. So... Uh, Yes, and uh, the truck will be there. The truck will be there. It is hint, stunning. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> yes. Uh, how was your Tim Hortons? Mine sucked. Oh. <laughs> well, Every, did you? You didn't order an apple fritter then, did you? Every fun. once in a while, if you go to Tim Hortons in the morning, their coffee shop has battery acid. That's no just idea. you, probably. <laughs> no, I don't think it is. And I heard somebody else bitch about it, too. Especially if you get a latte. I don't know. It's like oh, not come on. Not rinse them all I just put the extra three shots of espresso and it always works for me. I only put one shot of espresso in there every day. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't think you need any no. more caffeine yeah. than, than <laughs> Good point. people. Shout out to Wayne Roberts. Shout out, hey, Wayne. Glad you're watching. Kay. How many times do you think you've had your picture taken on the road trip? <laughs> More than fingers on one hand. <laughs> per day. I have no clue. Probably thousands. Between the, the, the show, I can might get the microphone in your hand. Oh, well, well, between the show and that, I mean, at the <laughs> show, it was amazing. Right? I mean, both shows. So I don't know. Who knows? Pick a number between zero and a thousand. But I mean, good thing every time. I mean, if, if I was a believer in the old thing, when they took a picture, they stole part of your soul, I am totally soulless. <laughs> That's all I can say. I have no soul left. Oh, my word. <laughs> well, it is kind of a riot. You meet yeah. people from all over the yeah. freaking world. It's pretty funny. Blair, question. Uh, Blair, I have a POS 125 China bike. I'm thinking of fixing. Is it worth it, or should I just get something new and bigger? It's always worth it, unless it's a real rusty... Roadrunner. No, what did no, I no, think of Super B? A bike. <laughs> He's, He's, a He's talking about a bike. Oh, yeah, why not? They don't take up much room. You can put them in the living room, work <laughs> on them at night. <laughs> no, in China. I grew up with is it bike worth my living room. Why not? <laughs> well, can you get parts? Sometimes you can't even get parts. Yeah, but I mean, have some fun. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't get it done, it doesn't matter. That's right. You work on it at night, play around with it. It's great. Yeah, have fun. Tony might have been here for this, but Tony wants to know, why was Matt kicking mirrors off of your vehicles, Mike? Because Matt, <laughs> when he first came, had very thin skin. And I was trying to toughen him up to the realities of Rust Pro existence. And he has anger management issues, we found out. So, so the only way he could vent, he couldn't, he couldn't physically kick me in the nuts, so he would kick the mirrors off my fireflies. And thus... So he you're justifying vindicated. being yes. a complete uh, dick yes. <laughs> by trying to help him out. Yeah, he had he just he had no control over his emotions. He was weak, but now he's <laughs> strong. In all fairness, how many how many employees do we have in the shop that is us getting mad? <laughs> oh. Anyway, I managed to make every person on the crew lose their shit more than once. It, I, it's a talent I have. An well, ongoing. Is that your real hair? Uh, actually, no, I borrowed it off somebody else. Yes, Chris it's Harris my... the same age yes. as me. Yes. <laughs> my, yes, the... Same the, head, the same year I was born? Yes. My last haircut was the year Cassidy was born. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even know what to say on that one, yeah. right? <laughs> Silence. <laughs> uh, hopefully, it's, you see Cassidy more working in the shop. Great worker, in my opinion. Yes, she is. As Depends long as we the day, but yes, yeah, she's very good at what she does. <laughs> yes, she just has to maintain her focus, and when we take her phone away from her, it's way better. You're yeah. talking I about focus. How much for the bike, Mike? This one, the one in the. the oh, oh, already? the shovelhead Sportster. The shovelhead Sportster. It's a dirt bike, like rat rod bike. Well, it's not I'm a not dirt sure bike. The, uh, I thought yeah. you sold that. No, I've sold it three times. It keeps coming back because. People give me down payments and then they never know. Um, I was asking five thousand dollars for the bike. The, they're talking about the uh, the Harley, the seventy one shovel head, out in the shop uh, with the custom frame and it's all brand new parts. Runs like a top. Potato, so potato, what, potato. Was potato. Sketchy? Was it cheap? Was yeah, but yeah, single side arm. Yeah, yeah. single side arm. Yes, five thousand bucks. 
good to go. Yeah. yeah. Um, what else? I'm looking for a really cheap Harley Split case. <laughs> I sold it. Keep that microphone. Okay. Yes. Fox body question again. Is yeah. Fox body for sale? Yes. There's the one Fox body notch back out there. I'm asking fifteen hundred bucks. You got to do a paper chase. We had registration for it. It sold at the auction. Somebody stole the paperwork out of the car, so I had to buy it back. So it sits out there, but it does have a VIN. Uh, anyway, you've got to do your own paper chase. Fifteen hundred bucks. Take it away. How old is too old to climb anymore? <laughs> that what are you we're climbing? Not allowed to discriminate on the basis of age and infirmity. <laughs> anyway, I, I can still climb. I'm only 67, but uh, gravity is increasing in speed. But Mike's problem isn't the age part. It's when she's fattened up over the winter. And goes, <laughs> yeah. uh, can she tell me a little bit of tidbit of last year? Was it last year? What? When you determined to pull yourself up. Oh, yes. Yes, I almost, uh, yeah, almost didn't make it up over the overhang 400 feet in the air. Anyway, that's when I started to question my sanity and why am I hanging 400 feet in the air at minus 15 on an icy rope? Anyway, but I wasn't too old then, but that was a year ago. I might be too old now, but I'll find out uh, in about two weeks because I'm going back to work for a while. Are you still doing your morning gun to think yet? No, but I'm going to start. <laughs> <laughs> threatening to start. Threatening to start, yes. Do you miss rock climbing? I do miss rock scaling. It's what I spent my whole life doing, but... Um, there comes a time when it's just, like I said, gravity moves faster, or I'm moving slower. I don't know which one it is. Is Donnie still working tow? Uh, Donnie is still towing, yes. What's the order of cars you're planning to do right now, tonight, huh. whatever? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean, we have, we've got 94 at last count, but right now we've got the Chevelle on the go. We've got the Roadrunner on the go. We're going to start the 64 Malibu SS rag because I would like to hopefully that's the plan is to drive that one coast to coast Because uh, it, it'll be a rat rod the other two are getting painted uh, We've got the 68 charger up on deck. We've got a 70 super B up on deck Rachel's uh, Rachel's uh, cab extension the Buick uh, We'd like to start doing something with the Buick just a little bit here and there cab over to Cassidy's truck oh. uh, Somewhere in there the lineup <laughs> Okay Remember, a man's grasp should always exceed his reach. Um, or his reach should exceed his grasp. One of the two. One of the two. Keep that mic up. Is there anything in particular you're looking for other than firefly parts? Uh, I have four fireflies left, uh, but uh, there's... Oh, yes, I'm looking for front hood chrome for 1941 Dodge Luxury Liner. Uh, I need a headlight... Uh, part around the headlight with the turn signal, two pieces of chrome trim on the hood, the hood ornament, and the piece underneath the hood. 41 Dodge Luxury Liner. Two Mike, doors, is, four doors. Is that Dodge or Plymouth, or is it's there a Dodge. difference? Okay, is there a difference from Yes, the... there is. Okay. Different chrome. Okay. Anyway. Um, is the step slide for sale? Uh, it is for sale. It needs an inspection. That's a the silver one? Yes, that's Ford. a silver Ford. The box sides on that are plywood. What's that? I said the box was the, the box sides on that uh, step side are plywood. Yes, it was obviously owned by a carpenter. <laughs> and it needs a collision inspection, yeah, yeah, not yeah, just yeah. a mechanical. Well, yeah, but I mean, there, there was no collision. The doors caved in, but yes. Everything else works horns, turn signals, lights, but anyway, yes. Needs an inspection. We might touch on this on a separate type of podcast in a more intimate uh, setting, but how did you find sobriety? Did you go to AA for help? How did I find a sobriety? One day I looked in the mirror and realized I was on the path to dying early and um, the light turned on. Life is a valuable thing. It's very precious. And I was heading towards a very early death. So my dad drank himself to death at 60 years old and I just figured life's pretty good and why am I in such a rush to end it? So 10 years ago, I just woke up one day and said enough is enough. Well, no, 13, Mike. Is it? Anyway, it's, yeah. it's been a while. Yeah. It hasn't helped me much, but I do feel a lot better. <laughs> My memory never came back, but whatever. I still stagger from day to day, but uh, I've been clean and sober for a long time, and uh, one day at a time, guys. But when you want to change, change your life, 
when you really want to quit something, I found it incredibly easy because it was time. If you don't want to quit, you never will. So when you want to quit, just do it one day at a time. But you got to get one day in. That's the mantra. One day at a time. Or as that wise philosopher said, the longest journey begins with the first step. But you've got to take the first step, guys. If you're struggling, if you have addiction problems, um, like I said, get one day in, then you've got something to build on. Yeah, and then at the end of it, you can have a mildly successful <laughs> show. <and> <laughs> no, yes, yes, yes. No, it could happen to you. <laughs> what are you doing with the trail duster? I've got so many people want the trail duster. I might just say, whoever offers me the most money might take it, but I do have a, a client that has bought several high-priced cars off me. He's coming out in three weeks. I told him he has first dibs. So if he does not want it, it will be going up for sale probably, but I'd like to at least drive it once. I still have to get it uh, certified and inspected. So until I do that, it's not for sale. What relationship is Tammy to Mike? Uh, Tammy is a good friend. Uh, her husband, Ted, actually did the first restoration on this car 20 some odd years ago. Yeah. They've been good friends ever since. And Tammy is a consummate cook. Her husband doesn't like to eat much, so Tammy likes to invite me over once a couple times a month just so she can cook a big feast and have me scarf it back. Well, me and Blair go too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone loves oh, yeah. going to Tammy's. Oh, yeah. It's a right. culinary experience extraordinaire. Well, you need to empty your, uh, yes. your stomach. Well, hang on. What is, what is on, uh, on tonight's menu? We just, at 6.30 this morning, I received this text. Yes. And then read my text after. Yes, hang on. Wait a sec, wait a sec. We got to get in here. Where was the text? <laughs> okay. You guys, be kind to everyone out yes. there. Renee, we appreciate you. No, I'm not kicked out of the shop yet. Uh, Renee, <laughs> I still live up there. Yes. <laughs> That's right. So Mike's not going to be building any more bus uh, campers for me to live in. Why can I not get into my text messages? Yeah, okay, Sorry. Kath, explain it to me. You gotta press that little thing so you can get out of it, and then pull it. Right. Okay. Oh, thanks, Cass. Okay. Okay. And the text at six twenty-three this morning says, "Today's menu: barbecue, baby back ribs, cabbage rolls, stuffed potatoes, Caesar salad, dill pickle pasta salad, oh. potato salad, special butters and buns, Dutch apple pie." Cheesecake. That is tonight's menu. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, no, yeah. no wonder it's an invite only. And Matt <laughs> said we should go out and get some x lax <laughs> <laughs> So we can make room. Anyway. anyway. He, sent, he sent my clothes. Yes. Uh, does Lincoln ever get leftovers from Tammy? Yes, Lincoln does. Mm. Leftovers from Tammy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he does. Clinton Franklin says, your videos help me with my recovery from surgery, and I think you guys, thank you guys for your videos. Well, we thank right you for watching, and glad we could be of help, Franklin. I guess we lost it. Favorite Mopar? Do you have a favorite Mopar? 70 Super Bs, 70 Cudas, 70 was the peak. Mind you, I like them all, right? But uh, 340s, Challengers, I have... But like I said, my 70 Bs are just the coolest. They were the most outlandish Mopar ever built. They were just totally off the wall. When I was a kid, I thought they were ugly, but it's something that I've grown to appreciate just how over the top Mopar was. Everyone else was packing it in in the early 70s and Dodge was going great guns. Um, Blair, would you restore a Viper, Dodge Viper? Wow, are they old enough to need restoring? I mean, they're, <laughs> they're pretty new, right? Yeah, pretty new. It's a pretty new vehicle for me to work on, actually. Yeah. But they are pretty cool. Yeah, I've only you seen can. a couple, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah, like they're not that common. Blair, are you picky with any type of like cars you'd like to work on or don't work on? or like? Absolutely not. It's, it's more I just see the damage. What do I get to try to, like to fix? Anything yes. that has <laughs> Actually, that that helps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say that, that, helps. say that again, Cass. I said we like working on anything that has a big budget. Yeah. So you can take the time that you want. And do all the custom stuff that you want. And yeah. yeah. 
Absolutely. Why. Hours and hours and hours. Hand building it. panels is yeah. always a treat. Yeah. That's my why favorite. Burgers and foods about the 32 viewers. Yes. Custom floor pans and. Oh yeah, yeah, with different patterns. I mean, yeah, you can have exactly. a variety. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, tunnels, yeah, transmission as long as tunnels. Else is paying, you're good to go. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. For everyone, start with Tony. Sketchiest car you ever drove. Condition, whatever. <laughs> um, probably my. 74 Triumph TR6 with Ooh, uh, nice. um, supercharged 327 Ooh. in it. That thing was scarier than hell. I had everything on the front was done, but I had the original rear suspension still in it. So she floated. And because she <laughs> sits so low to the ground, it's in an intersection, and my floor pans would glow red. And anybody with a pickup truck would try to dro drive over top of me because they'd never see me when they turned right. <laughs> it was like scarier than shit. But Funnest car I ever drove. Ooh, no. Nice. Blair's asked him. I know what Blair's scariest ride was. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no. I, I, You've had scarier I've rides? I've had, oh, hell, man. I cut the roof off my car and drove it for a couple of years. I've had to cut holes in the floor so I could shift gears when I'm heading out when in the bush. you're a teenager living in the convertible. Well, yeah, that too, yeah. <laughs> did, but yeah. did you ever have one where the police pulled you over for driving too slow? Well, the one I'm driving right now. <laughs> I know, hard to believe. All the way across the U.S. and back, or yeah. Vegas, and I get back into Canada to drive for 10 minutes, and I get pulled over for driving too slow. Yeah. Especially I, here in B.C., you get pulled over for everything. Well, I mean, I got across the border. You jump out, you do your happy dance. I'm glad to be back. Yeah. I'm just soaking up Canada, looking around, <laughs> and on come the freaking lights. He wasn't happy with me. <laughs> so I had to speed up. <laughs> I've driven so many sketchy cars. <laughs> Growing up really broke, you kind of just have to get what you can. I bought this Dodge Neon for like 500 bucks. Oh, yeah. If you got it up like past 140, you could watch the screws back out of the dash. Why the hell would you be going that fast in a Neon? Why oh. not? <laughs> You're talking Silly to question. Yeah. But I lost, I lost reverse in it, so then I had to strategically park or run over <laughs> what was ever in front of me. So <laughs> Nice. And it had... Uh, uh, a paint job, a middle of the night paint job done on it right before I bought it. And uh, so it was blue industrial paint. And anyways, the gas, the gas flap wouldn't stay closed. So you know those like um, the coffee tins or whatever with the latches? I like, mm -hmm. took one of those and put screws and so I could latch my gas door <laughs> shut. And anyways, that one was that sketchy. <laughs> Uh, my, I don't know, the sketchiest one was probably one of my Firefly convertibles. I drove it until we, something didn't feel right at the front end, and we went into my buddy's shop. He put it up on the hoist and said, it's not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> the whole front end was just about to fall out of the car. So. Oh, yeah. and, no, it was, it was a yellow one. It was my first one. Anyway, but uh, yeah, basically it was unsafe at any speed. <laughs> this red one, the last one I'm driving, me and Avery just took it over the Coke. We had that puppy up to 130 kilometers an hour. I had to slow down before they oh, impounded it. Downhill, yeah, they, <laughs> they were going to impound it for excessive speed. Oh, anyway. oh, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, you passed me last night. Yes. That was a highly illegal maneuver, by know, the way. I, was, I thought it was pretty good. Oh, <laughs> the minute you went past him, I know what he's doing. <laughs> he was giggling. Oh, I was oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Where then was, yeah. I got stuck in construction for 20 minutes because yes. you got ahead of me. Oh, yeah. Did you? Yeah, yeah. 20 yeah. minutes sitting there. Because, uh, anyway. Oh. Hey, guys. <laughs> we can't yeah, even describe the move he pulled. Guilty pleasure. <laughs> Banana, uh, pineapple sundae at Terry Queen. <laughs> well, it's uh, my favorite day of the year today, so I'll leave that <laughs> for you guys to decipher. Ah, <laughs> oh, you freaking kidding me. Uh, cheesecake. Just Ooh, any on. topping, but che with cheesecake. Yeah. What's yours, uh, Blair? Anything with sugar in it. Single malt? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and Blair loves gold. Probably Mike and him love gold as much as yeah, gold. Yes. Love gold. Yes. 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 All and the silver. is gold if it's actual gold. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks, guys. Peace, love, and joy. Remember, those that have should give. Thanks so much, guys. Like, follow, subscribe. Yeah. Oh, very and good. Cassidy, <laughs> Cassidy likes free stuff. So <laughs> oh, yeah. And then our, the Amazon store is 10 to 
figured out the smart it's like soft launches that are protected from your Okay guys, we do have an Where's Amazon store, so uh, any of the stuff that we use in the shop and recommend if you guys uh, want to purchase it, you can click to a link. I'm not sure how it works, but stay tuned. Uh, Matt will explain it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do more posts and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate uh, you sharing some time with us and have a wonderful day. Link says, get to work. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>